Good morning everybody and welcome to our well-being assembly. Today our focus for our assembly is looking forward to September. We're going to begin today as we always do by joining our hands together and making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we're going to say a prayer for the end of our school year with only two days left of our term. What a year it has been for everybody. An exciting year, but a year in so much has happened. So we put our hands to together and we say, God of wisdom, we thank you for all the gifts you have given us throughout this school year. We praise you for giving us life, for saving us in Christ and for choosing us to be your people. As we come to the end of this school year, we voice our gratitude for the good things you have done in us and we praise you for all who have shared in the work of this school. We ask you to bless them in your love and give them refreshment and peace. We praise you God through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as we approach the end of our school year, many of us will have mixed emotions. Some of us reflecting on how the year has gone by. Some people will be sad to say goodbye to our teacher from this year. Some of us might be frustrated that the year hasn't ended as we expected. Some of us will be looking forward to the new start in September and might be excited at the thought of coming back to school and to seeing everybody in their new classes with their new teachers. I just want you to take a moment now to think about how you're feeling. It's okay to feel a little bit nervous about a new start or a change in September. Most of your teachers will be feeling just the same. But it's important to remember that the start of the new school year marks a new start, a fresh chance and an opportunity to begin again. You have a chance to show your new teacher just how amazing you are. Today's story in our assembly is called The Wonderful Things You Will Be and it's written by Emily Winfield. It gives you an insight into what your teachers see in all of you. The things they hope you'll learn and the people that they hope you'll be. The wonderful things you will be. When I look at you and you look at me, I wonder what wonderful things you will be. When you were too small to tell me hello, I knew you were someone I wanted to know. For all your tininess couldn't disguise a heart so enormous and wild and wise. This is the first time there ever has been you. So I wonder what wonderful things you will do. Will you stand up for good by saving the day? Or play a song? Only you know how to play. Will you tell a story that only you know? Will you learn what it means to help things to grow? Will you learn how to fly to find the best view? Or take care of things much smaller than you. I know you'll be kind and clever 
and bold and the bigger your heart the more it will hold. When nights are black and when days are grey you'll be brave and be bright so no shadows can stay. Then you will discover all there is to see and become anybody that you'd like to be. And then I'll look at you and you'll look at me and I'll love you whoever you've grown up to be. What a lovely story. So I want you to remember from this assembly today that a new school year is a chance for you to showcase, for you to really show off the wonderful person that you are. Your new teacher will be your biggest supporter and like we heard in the story they have planned lots of opportunities to help you be the wonderful person that you are. It's okay to feel a little bit nervous. We all do when change happens. But remember that your teacher will do everything they can to make you happy. They are all really excited to welcome you back and to make memories with you all in September. So let's reflect together. What wonderful things about you are you looking forward to sharing with your teacher in September? Have a little think about that. Your challenge today is for you to write your new teacher a postcard explaining all of the things that make you so wonderful so that they know what to look out for in September. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to them on the Facebook Messenger so it can go on the website. And finally, everyone is so excited about the new school year. We can't wait to see what September brings. And as we have done over the last few weeks, we're going to finish with a joke. Why did the student eat his homework? The teacher told him it was a piece of cake. Have a wonderful summer break, everybody. We're really looking forward to seeing you in September. So make sure you get lots of opportunity to rest make the most of the time away from school and we'll see you fit and healthy all ready to start the new school year. God bless and see you soon.